Hi everyone, it's Mike here. Thanks for joining me again for another Art Journal page start to finish video. Today we're going to be looking at journal52.com's week 35 prompt, which is plans. And as you can see, I have printed off a floor plan there, uh, just using my inkjet printer, and I'm just going to tear it up into strips. And using my matte Mod Podge, I'm just going to adhere some of the fragments from that floor plan that I've printed out just in random places around the page. So once I'd added all that layer down, I thought after looking at it that I didn't really like the white space. So I decided to add in some elements from the um, postal tissue wrap from Tim Holt. So this is obviously from Ranger. So I've just torn some small fragments up where there's writing, there's, there's other text elements. I'm just going to add these two in random places around the page. And then I'm going to heat seal just to make sure that everything is nice and dry before I move on to add some colour. Okay, so I'm going to add my first colour. Now this is a uh, an acrylic paint from a British company called Reeves, which are very, very similar to the Liquitex colours. So they're kind of medium body, they're not too, um, not too fluid and not too heavy. But instead of applying the colour with a brush, I'm going to be applying the colour to my background using a wide spatula this time. I think I read somewhere that Reeves is a brand owned by Windsor & Newton, but I may have just dreamt that. as I always do I'm going to heat set between every layer and every application of colour because I always might like to make sure that everything is nice and dry before I move on to the next step because I hate smearing and I hate smudging stuff. So this is the yellow ochre acrylic paint again from Reeves and again I'm going to go around the page just adding that colour with the spatula. Now, I'm going to do this with a couple more colours so I will probably just sit back and let you watch that and this video is speeded up to four times its normal length today because there is quite a lot of repetitive process and I didn't really want to make you sit through the whole thing at normal speed. So now the lime yellow is nice and dry, I'm going to be using the fluorescent pink and some heavy carvable moulding paste from Windsor & Newton and I'm going to mix a generous amount of the moulding paste with the pink paint. Now as I go along I'm determining the depth of colour of the, um, 
that's mixing in with the molding paste and I keep adding more paint, more pink to until I'm happy with the actual shade that I get. So I'll have a quick clean up so I can bring my journal back in and then we'll apply this lovely pink, candy pink um, moulding paste through a Dina Wakely stencil and this is called Pebble Hearts. Because of the positioning of the hearts on the page I knew I'd not not be able to get a third one on until I dried those two uh, thoroughly so that's what I'm going to do now. You'll see me drying off those two and then have a little bit of a clean up and then I'll bring the stencil back in and have another go and put the third one on. And of course I'm going to make sure that that is completely dry before moving on to the next step. So for the next step I'm bringing out some titanium white. I'm just going to smooch some of that paint onto my craft mat and then I'm going to um, just smooth it out onto the craft mat with my spatula. And then you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen that I have two like circular objects. I'm going to use those just for doing some mark making. Now I wanted to break up those blocks of colour around the page so I'm just going to bring that in and put some white circle marks just around just to break up the colour a little bit. And of course, once I'd tidied up and everything was dry, I suddenly realised that I actually could do with some more of the white paint. So I brought some more out, popped some more on my mat. I'm just going to um, do some almost dry brushing around the page just to try and knock some of that colour back a little bit. So I'm going to just add some streaks of white um, over the rest of the page and across the top of my hat just to try and tone the colour down a little bit. And then of course because I've wasted one set of white already I wasn't going to do it again so I'm going to just add some water to it and add some nice white sprinkles and splatters around the page again just to break up some of those colour blocks. Now I have to apologise for this next set of film because for some strange reason my camera has developed a, a kind of small fault where it once it focuses on something it has a real difficult job refocusing again. Now it's not, it's, it's the autofocus process and because the screen on my camera is very very small um, you can't really tell until it's too late so but you can still read it and it does kind of focus back in again in a second. There you go, look at that, that's nice and clear. Well I hope you've enjoyed that quick art journal page today. If you have enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up so that YouTube know that you would like to see more from me and they will recommend my channel to other people and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. So once again thanks for watching and I'll see you all again real soon.